Alright guys, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to implement a wall jump mechanic inside of your game. This is super simple, super easy, and this is how it looks inside of my hack and slash game, Grim Hope. Now you'll notice if I go up to the wall, I don't directly jump off the wall. I have to go to the wall and press the X again in order to jump off the wall. And if I push back on my analog stick, you guys will notice that I'll perform that backwards wall jump. And then I also, with this system, I can't wall jump and constantly keep spamming wall jump unless I touch the ground. So that is something I implement to the system, so let's take a look at this code. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do in order to implement a wall jump mechanic your game is you're gonna click on a little plus icon over here and you're gonna create a brand new function called wall jump now inside of my wall jump function what I have is I have a branch I also have a less than is greater than and then I have a wall jump counter now this is basically how many wall jumps your player is gonna have the ability to get in order for you to create this wall jump counter what you want to do is you want to go over here just click on this little plus icon variable and then create a integer and then once you do that you're gonna correct connect it up to this node and then off that I'm getting a reference to my character movement and then I'm also gonna be dragging off my character movement and then I'm gonna be calling the is moving on ground function and then I'm gonna create a branch and the next thing I'm gonna be getting I'm gonna be getting a capsule line trace by channel now this is basically getting a reference to our characters uh, capsule component right here and then once I do that off start I'm gonna be dragging off start we're gonna get actor location because we want to get the location of our actor and we're also gonna drag our return value into the end node as well and then off capsule radius what we're gonna do over here is I'm gonna drag in and get a reference to my capsule component right here and then from there I'm gonna drag off and I'm gonna get my capsule radius I'm gonna plus my capsule radius by one and then I'm gonna drag this off and I'm gonna drag this capsule radius line over here to radius and then what I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna be getting my capsule height from my capsule component and then I'm just gonna be dragging in my capsule height into my half height then the next thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna create a branch in order to sit there and connect this return value to this branch I'm gonna be dragging off out hit and I'm actually gonna be calling break hit results and then what I need to be getting a reference to, I need to get a reference to impact normal. So from impact normal, I'm going to drag all of this. I'm going to add a plus vector. And then from there, I'm going to drag off this little pin right here. And I'm going to get a forward vector that is going to be getting a reference to my camera. So I'm just going to drag in my camera and get a reference to that. And then from there, I'm dragging off this line right here. And I'm going to be times this. And I'm going to sit there and I'm going to create a float variable called strength. Now, strength is going to be the amount of ability that allow your character to jump at a certain height. If you put it super high, you're going to go super high in the air. If you put it super low, you're going to go super low in the air. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this struct pin in order to sit there and get all these nodes. And I'm going to call it make vector. And I'm going to drag off X. I'm going to drag off Y. And then for me, I have it on the Z axis because I want my character to go up on the Z axis. But if you don't want your character to go up on the Z axis, if I just drag this off, and then put this over here and put this to 500 you'll notice if i go back and i play the game and then i run and i jump into a wall that my character is going to jump a different way you see that i'm going to go downwards because i changed the variable now if i do it for x it'll be the same thing if i go over here and i break x and i put it to 500 i'm going to see that my character is going to basically jump off the wall a different way so you see that my character is actually getting shot outwards to the x direction instead of actually jumping directly off the wall now for me i'm just gonna leave it on the z axis and i'm gonna leave it to 500 because i want my character to jump directly up now the next thing i'm gonna do after that is i'm actually going to be getting a launch character node and then i'm just gonna be connecting my launch velocity to my make vector node right here and then from here what i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna be playing a montage so for me i have it set to a high priority montage i'll make a whole nother video talking directly about that but all you want to do if you don't have that you'll just type in play montage then after that you're going to be selecting the montage you want to use for your wall jump animation and then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to sit here and i'm going to get a uh decrement and basically what i'm going to do i'm just going to be subtracting one from my wall jump counter now in order to get this all you got to do is type in minus minus and you'll get a decrement integer and then from there i'm just getting a print string so i can sit there and tell myself that i know that when my wall jump counter goes from one to zero and the next thing you do i'm going to be getting the branch which i have is hold down is set to false now this variable is super simple basically what this variable does is that if i press down on the directional pad because i have it set up in my input action mapping that if i press down on the directional pad or if i press down on the s key i'm the holding the down button so if i'm holding the down button then basically what i want to do i want to sit there and get another animation montage and just play for me the backwards jump animation montage that i have inside of the game so once you do that, the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to be going over to my event graph. Now inside of my event graph, what I do is I have this custom event, which I created called on ground touch. And then I have this macro, which is in air. It's super simple. It basically is just gets a character movement is falling and then it just gets a branch and then it just turns true and false. 
so then what i have is this macro and the next thing you do off false i'm gonna be setting my wall jump counter to one so if my character is not in the air my character will be sitting there on the ground and his wall jump counter will be set to one i have a print string just to let me know that i know that now moving on to our jump if i go in here and i click on the jump system i basically has a jump button is set to down which is true now this is just a boolean barrier to say that if my character presses down on the space bar it's going to set the jump button down to true and then i'm just going to be getting a reference to the jump and then what i'm going to do after that is i'm going to be getting a branch variable and i'm going to be calling is jump button down is basically true now if it is true then i'm going to sit there i'm going to drag in my function the wall jump function and then i'm also going to be getting a reference to the custom event on ground now if it's false we're not doing anything and then moving over to the false variable that i'm going to have the set is jump button down is this going to be on release if it is false then basically we're going to stop jumping so that's pretty much how you create a wall jump system inside of unreal engine if you found this tutorial very useful let me know down below in the comments section i'm also thinking about selling this system on the unreal marketplace for a couple dollars just in case if anybody doesn't want to go through the process of making it themselves so let me know if y'all want that as well as down below in the comment section i'm gonna see you guys on my next one